Sidaba youth, mm. nange mwana mwala, ya fuse yeah. minister. Unako lwale genze kwa mparament, mm. nivu ugeda kwa kusonga zaba yimbi. Mm. Adho omkulu, uh, honorable joe senyo njini agamba, ba yimbi tebeta kakuwa wa sente. Chegeza la genda bafu, laba bega, wavu laba kolebi ya viva nyigiriza. Mm. E, Guocho gela kochi, nze ndaba bantu wa fama, baba waku fundi zaba lim. Mm. Bani, nebaba tera ozi sako, nebe wola. Mm. What's, what makes it a bad when... The government comes up, never government, no mean be able to tell Sako Moye Wola. It's very easier, actually, may be. Such a week of Anga, so as I know me in your Kuba heat, no Musang and Motufunga Chatambula could pitching, and no Chokuria, as a big design. Kubanga went to a singer to Labida could screen over to Labida could screen, no laws anti Alibulunji, no Musang a backstabbing and then the nature of Kuris have a Nabeta China, so Silo was anti Chichin to Chandiba de Chibi to Batero, Babatero, and such two Kilamu Mikone me two for a Mikone me to judge Jamia, but an over Jacques was a bamb. Mujas is over it. Come with so no. So, I have a cool way of empowerment to engage in a show you'll not call it. The responsibility of government to ensure that the citizens are well taken care of. The artists that are being mentioned are citizens of Uganda, and in a bid for government to ensure that there is accessible and affordable credit by citizens, the artists did request for a fund to facilitate their circle. This totally has nothing to do with the law that we are pushing for. It is okay for government of Uganda to support the artists as citizens. The artist circle is fully registered, and in the meantime, it is a healing way as we look forward to a conducive environment that enables them to fully benefit from their works. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I think we need to help the Attorney General, one of the issues is raised is um, the financing element that is required, and is right. But you see, of recent we saw government was allocating some billions of shillings to artists in a certain form. I don't think we should be reducing these artists to beggars of some sort. I, I found it misleading for the LOP to mention that... Uh, the artists are being paraded as beggars by the government. Well, because if there's money for that, then there should be money to process the bills and the financial implications and so on. That's the point really that I'm making. Because when you reduce them to being beggars, you give them some money now, they'll consume it and it will be done. But when there is a law that protects their trade, they will benefit from that even when they are long gone, their children and so on and so forth. Right, Robert Speaker, the Prime Minister is here because the Attorney General was also saying there are challenges within Cabinet and so on, maybe we shouldn't burden him with some of these questions. The Prime Minister should commit when this can be processed, you know, so that people get to benefit from their art, from their trade. That way you don't reduce them to beggars. That way they won't be disturbing you as government. Each time there is, you know, a function and there is an artist, they say, now give us some money for this. Once they are protected, in their trade and they're able to make money out of that, they will fly on their own. And I wanted to provide information that uh, while representing uh, the strategic direction for NDP4 in cabinet, actually His Excellency as the President himself added uh, this sector to the priority list. So henceforth, uh, this is now a priority sector uh, okay. in the government. I think what is important is all of us are looking for a sustainable way of supporting the arts industry. That's what we are looking at. 